Since 2001, Bitdefender has established itself as one of the best antivirus options out there. But with new threats arriving on the internet every day, is Bitdefender still holding up? Well, maybe it's time for an updated Bitdefender Review 2023 edition. New tests, new information, along with a splash of my uh, personal opinion. <clears throat> yeah, as usual. Okay, quick side note, if by the end of this video you decide to get Bitdefender, well, you're gonna find the most up-to-date deals in the description, I promise. All right, we've got the Bitdefender for Windows app right here. The installation isn't the quickest, but it's not that complicated either. Overall, the app is very easy to navigate and all of the main sections are neatly categorized with no annoying separate feature pop-ups. Um, <clears throat> yeah, looking at you, Norton. That was a lot of popping up. Now, while the Bitdefender for Mac app is great, I can't really recommend Bitdefender for iOS users. The iPhone version can scan for vulnerabilities, but beyond that, it only has a data breach checker, browsing detection, and a limited VPN. However, I have nothing against the Bitdefender for Android app. It has all the features I need, and I can run a scan with just one click. So my main goal for this Bitdefender review is to evaluate its security. So hey, why don't we get on top of that? The main point of any antivirus is to protect you from malware. So is Bitdefender secure enough to do it? Well, in the latest AV comparatives testing, this AV scored advanced plus in protection, as it has many times before. Still, as with all my Bitdefender antivirus reviews, I like taking matters into my own hands. So I've set up some new malware tests. Yeah, some of you probably already know what's coming. You know, where I plant 10 malicious files on my PC and run a full scan with real-time protection turned off. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> I did it, and my Bitdefender 2023 scan caught nine out of 10 threats. Took around 17 minutes, and it wasn't super heavy on my computer's resources, so I am happy about that. Now, by comparison, I ran tests with Total AV, Norton, and a few other providers. Only Total AV got the perfect score this time, However, with Total AV, I had to quarantine the files manually, which essentially allows for a small time frame, a small window for malware to act, and that is not ideal. Thankfully, that wasn't a problem with the Bitdefender versus viruses testing, as it instantly handled all of the malicious files that it detected. Now, besides the basic system scan options, I did find quite a few more useful functions in there. There's the fancy named Advanced Threat Defense, which acts as a real-time protection tool. It's an effective first line of defense. So as long as you keep it on, you won't need to run full scans all that often. Oh, and speaking of scans, there's also a vulnerability scan. Now it checks for weak passwords, outdated applications or drives, and works as another reminder to get your Windows updates in order. As if my Windows PC doesn't do enough nagging about that already. Oh, God, it never ends. Now, the security bundle also includes a ransomware mitigation tool, which I use to create backups of my most important files. Now, I'm not entirely sure how useful it's gonna be in the long run, but not long ago, I performed Bitdefender versus ransomware tests as well, and it blocked all 10 ransomware files without giving them any chance to do any damage. And there are a lot more features in the Bitdefender app, but not to make this too confusing, I'll only talk about the most used ones. For example, many best antivirus 2023 providers try to sway people their way by offering full cybersecurity bundles, and Bitdefender is one of them. I found a VPN and a password manager, so it's a good option to ensure privacy as you browse and safeguard all your online accounts in one place using just the one tool for everything. The password manager is fine and dandy. There's nothing bad, but nothing really unique about it either. It does the job well, however, I am not a huge fan of the Bitdefender VPN. If you get it with the cheaper antivirus plan, <laughs> well, there's this 200 megabyte data limit, which can run out in one browsing session, maybe even half a session. So to be able to fully experience this tool, yeah, you're gonna have to invest in the premium version. Is it worth it? Well, at the very same price point, you could just grab Surfshark and have a VPN that's gonna be faster and more capable but I think the regular limited version is a great starting point to see how you can benefit from a VPN. Now, I will say there are plenty of other things that make Bitdefender worth it. And a lot of these things I use on a day-to-day -day basis, like I keep the webcam and microphone protection on at all times, as well as the anti-tracker feature, which when I'm browsing helps prevent malicious scripts from harvesting my data. And then from time to time, I also use system optimization tools to get rid of all kinds of junk files because yeah, that crap piles up fast. 
And speaking of getting rid of things, I really like their file shredder option. While it's not gonna give you the satisfaction of actually shredding paper and cards, it can clean your device before you sell it or pass it on to someone else. Now, in this case, Bitdefender uses a special algorithm to overwrite the data and make it impossible to recover. So yeah, this antivirus is pretty stacked, but when you go look at the various plans, it does start to get a little confusing. There's a lot of options with different benefits. So, hey, why don't we break those down? All right, first, the infamous Bitdefender free version. It was removed, then it was brought back. So look, I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay around this time, but hey, at least it's here for now. As an antivirus option, it's pretty bare. So it's really just a better way to initially try out the service and get a feel for it. There are no additional tools, no ransomware protection, and you can only use it on, yep, one device. Like I said, pretty bare bones. Now, Windows users can enjoy the Antivirus Plus and Bitdefender internet security plans, which have more to offer, but they are missing a couple of essential features, one of which is performance optimization. So it's no surprise that people usually go straight for the Bitdefender Total Security Plan. In my opinion, this one is still a very affordable option, especially if you go grab our special discount. Plus, it's a great overall deal when you can protect five different devices and still have all the features you need without breaking the bank. So as an antivirus, Bitdefender is a strong contender. It's easy to use, provides great protection against all kinds of malware, and adds tons of value with their useful features. Now, I would like to see a more full-fledged iOS version and a higher data limit on their VPN. So if you're planning to get this provider, well, you have my stamp of approval. So let me know if you found this video helpful at all by liking it and dropping a sub to the channel. So hey, thanks for watching this Bitdefender Review 2023. If you're ready for a better antivirus, yep, you better grab the discount from this box in the corner and I'll see you in the next one.